welcome to the Gallivanting Soul. And today we are on our way to Punakha. So I have just checked out of my hotel here in Thimpu and it's time to head to Punakha. Now we're going to be stopping at one of the high passes. But uh, let's get there and I'll show you what awaits us in Punakha. So these are the 108 stupas at the Dochala Pass. Well, now it's time to head on towards Punaka. This is a must halt on your way to Punaka. So come on, let's continue the journey because we still have a few places to do in Punaka. Once you come to Dochula, you can also head down towards one of those cafes there. Uh, they have washrooms, you can grab some tea, coffee, get some snacks. We stopped at the vintage cafe in Lobesa village for lunch, which had views of sprawling green paddy fields. After lunch, we visited the souvenir shop and watched an artist at work before heading towards the village of the fertility temple. Phallus paintings in Bhutan are esoteric symbols which have their origins in the Chimmi Langthang monastery near Punaka. The village monastery was built in honour of Lama Drupa Kungle, who lived at the turn of the 16th century and was popularly known as Divine Madman. Phallus paintings can still be seen on the walls of houses and buildings throughout Bhutan, particularly in villages. Traditionally, symbols of the phallus in Bhutan have been intended to drive away the evil eye and gossip. They are everywhere. People visit the monastery on pilgrimage, seeking blessings to bear a child or for the welfare of their children. Punaka Zong is the administrative centre for Punaka district. Constructed in 1637, it is the second oldest and second largest Zong in Bhutan and one of its most majestic structures. Punaka Zong's magnificence is especially striking in the spring when the lilac coloured Jagranda trees are in full bloom. This time I missed the full bloom, but was fortunate to have seen it on my earlier visit.
Royal Courtyard and behind me here is the main temple where there are some relics uh, kept inside and of course nobody is allowed there except the king and uh, uh, somebody at the higher ranks and behind here is the main prayer hall which everybody is uh, you know any anybody can go inside so i'm going to go inside but uh, i cannot take any pictures or any video clips because for uh, photography is strictly not allowed inside so there is a huge buddha statue inside and a whole lot of other statues and the prayer hall is very beautiful i mean i have been inside and i'm definitely going back in there and um, well i'll see you all in a bit One of the oldest suspension bridges in the world, the Punaka Suspension Bridge was believed to be built by a Buddhist monk. Over the years, it has undergone its share of refurbishment, but it was once one of the eight bridges that served as the precursor to many of our modern suspension bridges. Punaka's suspension bridge length is 160 meters. Galpo chain bridges did not include the suspended wooden deck and this makes walking across the bridge quite a thrilling experience. Punaka Zong suspension bridge is an important part of the architectural history of Bhutan as it was built to connect the villages to the palace. The bridge was built as the Zong lies in the confluence of the rivers Pochu and Mochu. This hanging bridge in Punaka is draped with prayer flags all along and provides a perfect spot for bird watching and nature photography. Not to mention the panic attack it gives to a few visitors as it sways a bit due to the strong winds from the flowing river beneath. Password. Password. Bhutan. Bhutan, happiness. Thank you. When I came to Bhutan on my last trip, we brought the car here. There was literally nobody. And from this side of the bridge, we walked to the other end. Now typically everybody comes in from the opposite side because that's where the monastery is. And people just drive down, park their cars, and then come walking here and go back. Now we did it to avoid the crowds the last time, and it worked. I have pictures of like literally nobody on the bridge. But anyway, so today we are, we came back this way and now we are headed back to the car so this is the longest suspension bridge in Bhutan this is the Fochu river and the monastery is built on an island and when you cross the bridge of the river that is the Mochu Mochu is the female river and Fochu is the male river and the monastery is built on the island so now we are crossing over the Fochu river then we'll get to our car and drive across the Mochu River.
when the sand feels icy cold. Okay, here goes. Wow! <laughs> it's it's literally like ice water. I am not kidding. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. Oh freak. This is one of my favorite things to do when I go to a riverside. Soak my feet. It's so refreshing. If you've never tried it, you should. Especially if you're in a Himalayan region where the water is really cold. It comes from all those melting glaciers up there. My lovely day in Punaka has now come to an end and well the sun is setting it's almost 6 30 in the evening and what you see there in the background is the Punaka Zong well it's been a lovely day in Punaka and I've had a lovely time short trip as usual just I'm here just for the day tomorrow I head off to another place but nevertheless it's been amazing and just like the last time, I ended my day by sitting at the riverside and soaking my feet in these icy cold water. It's really cold, trust me. And I wanted to do it all over again. So I told my guide that I need to go and sit by the riverside and also cool my feet down. I've been bitten by a few bugs. So I've got a little swelling on my feet, but it's okay. Anyway, guys, I hope you liked this video. If you did, you know the drill. Hit the like button, comment, share this video. I will see you all in my next video. Signing off from the beautiful town of Punaka in Bhutan. Stay tuned to the Gallivanting Soul and more such videos from the beautiful land of the Thunder Dragon. I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.